Hey guys, my name is Angel Batista, lead of upholstery, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about our Defender interior restoration. Let me take you guys inside. So today, I'm gonna to explain from where we take and tear down the seats to where they get finished, including dash, consoles, door cards, everything we do in interiors. So, here we have Christian. Right now he's working on a door cart. <laughs> but he's the main guy that takes apart our seats and helps us with the headliners. So here's an example of the seats that he tears apart. This particular seat is gonna get heated system. So we're just gonna have this padding. We're gonna put half inch foam we add for to give it more um, body to it for when we put the leather it'll have more cushion stronger and make it look perfect which we we're looking for um, we also on these seats if the client asks for it we could use heated and ventilated which would use this pad with this system we would you know install it we make the hole this would be installed at the back of the seat as well as the bottom would have the same system this would be for heated and cool, and this would be for just heated. And okay, now here we have Alex, which is the one that brings to life these consoles. He's actually working on a console for a series two. And he basically has to make this fit in our defenders and it all gets wrapped in whatever leather that the client wants. We use leathers from Spinnyback, we use leathers from Garrett, we use leathers from Hides, we could like Lamborghini leather, um, Ferrari leather, and any kind of type of leather that the client picks. Basically we could use any of them. Um, this is an example of one that's already wrapped in the distressed leather. As you can see, this one has two Recaro controls on the top, two cup holders, has a high-low shifter boot. The lid, this is not finished yet, but this is almost finished. But, and it has, it also has the AC in the back. This would be with a double console because this has an extension to it. So that's why it has this hole here so you can put the wiring and all through there. And it would have another extension to it. We have another extension to it. So it's obviously bigger, longer. It all depends on what the client wants. Um, now the dashes, here's a dash that's prepped, ready to get wrapped. And here we have one in process, not finished yet, but it's in process. Again, this is some Garrett leather, um, which we use. It's kind of like distressed, beautiful leather. And if you want to see a dash finished, this would be a perfect one with the distressed leather glazed. This one's ready to go in the truck, be installed. Um, another design we're working on right now for this same truck, he's getting a design that they saw in the seat on a Ferrari. And so we're gonna give it the look that the client wants. He saw it, he asked for it. So we're making these holes in the, in the strips of leather. I'll give you a little example of it, of how this works. So we're going to be making strips with all these holes. It's going to get top stitched on each side. And then we're going to put it on the solid leather, stitch to it, and that's the look it's going to have. See, so you have the raw edge with two top stitches on the side. All on the back of the Recaro seats. So this is just marking it up again. It would look, it would be completely the back solid. And then we have these strips going on 
on the back to give it that look. Um, that's Omaina. She helps us sew with the sewing. And she does a beautiful job. She um, is working on that Ricardo seat right now as we speak. Then we have Lana. She's another one of our sewers. She's working on the drill cast I showed you in the beginning of the video. Um, with the diamond patterns, which is a beautiful pattern. A lot of people like it, love it. You can do it bigger, smaller. You can change the stitching, the color of the stitching. Obviously, you can put the stitching to match it or whatever color you want to put on the, on the diamond design. Here we got JC. He's the one who puts together the door cards. You can see he's working on the same project uh, that we'll look at Lana stitching up. These are the door cards for our client. The centers are gonna have the diamond stitch as I just explained to you about. Again, you can switch it, different colors. You could, the center could be a different color, different design. It could be flat. Stitching color could change. I mean, we do pretty much anything. We can make anything here that the client asks for. And we've had a lot of challenges. Uh, but nothing we can't do. And here we have Adrian. Adrian usually helps me with the door cards and he knows how to do dashes as well. Right now he's working on a door card for an RRC. Very difficult, very difficult and complicated door cards. But Adrian is here and he, you know, he, get, he gets it done. He gets it done, does a beautiful job. All of us do, you know, a great job. The point of this is to deliver an awesome product. I can give you an example of storage boxes too. Now this one is for a D90, a series. This, this is for a series two truck actually. A storage box, yeah, it's, it's all wrapped in leather. Um, I gave it this little detail with the locks. So the lid won't come in, come up open that easily. It gets wrapped in with some trunk liner, so when you, if you put anything in there, it won't get all scratched up. <clears throat> Again, easy to close, locks in very easily. We added the pocket if you want to put some extra things on the outside. And again, you could do it in any leather you want. You can add the pocket, you can eliminate the pocket, you can put more stitching if you want, you could do diamond stitching on the top. Get creative and we'll get it done. That's all I gotta say. Here at ECD, we strive for perfection. We deliver our upholstery three to four days maximum. Me and my team are always excited to see what we get to create next. Mm -hmm.